to grass in South Carolina, I thought, um, you know, they really were, were physically dominant in the paint, um, which obviously we knew was a strength of theirs coming in. And, um, you know, the 19 offensive boards, I thought we had pretty good first shot defense tonight, um, by and large, across the game. It was, it was, it was offensive rebounds and the second chances. Um, that just proved to be too much, and, and obviously, um, you know, their, their relentless, relentless approach to the glass uh, on the offensive end uh, gave us a lot of problems, and um, so I, th I thought that was uh, the, the, the difference in the game um, was, was our inability to, to keep them from, I mean, 19 extra opportunities at, at the basket is a little too much to overcome when you're playing a team uh, as talented as they are. Hey, Kara, I wanted to ask you about the zone. Kind of what was your thinking to kind of go that heavy with the zone and how effective did you think it was, particularly in making things at least different, more difficult for them when they did get the ball into the paint? Yeah, I thought it was pretty effective. I mean, I don't know what they shot, but they shoot 35% from the field. So, again, I thought our first shot defense was really good. Uh, we just didn't, didn't get enough defensive rebounds. Um, so I thought it was good. Um, I thought when we could get – uh, a double. I thought it was effective. We forced some dribble outs um, where, where Boston had to reset. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I was pleased with how we played defensively. Besides the uh, defensive boards, right? Yeah. Uh, Kerry, you said earlier in the year that you didn't expect to win every game, but you expected to compete in every game. Being able to come from 16 points down in the half against the top ranked team in the country to get the ball. You get one point, you had the ball down by seven. What does that say about your team's ability to compete? Before or after the ref trip, the player. <laughs> Good Lord, never seen that before. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought uh, I, I thought all of our players um, that came in played with great effort, and and that's what you that's what you hope for in a game like this. Um, that they play with great effort, and I, I love my group. They do that. They play with great effort, and um, I, th I did think they competed. And you're right. Uh, when you go down 16, and you only have 16 points at the half, there's a lot of teams that will come out of the locker room and think the game is over. And, and we didn't do that. We, we kept fighting and made some push, push some runs out of them. So, um, yeah, I, I think I, I think I think I was pleased how we how we competed tonight. What can you tell your team, you know, looking at South Carolina, the number one team in the country, what can you tell your team that this is the difference between where we are now and where we want to be? Well, I think it's hard not having watched the film yet, to be honest with you. It's hard. I don't like to make these grand sweeping uh, conclusions without having seen it, because I think memory sometimes, you think you're better than you are, or you think you're worse than you are right after the game. But... Um, there, there's no question that when, when you play a team that's elite, that they expose some weaknesses in you. And I can't tell you what all those are until I watch the film, but very clear rebounding against a big physical front line is something we've got to improve on. And so we're going to see some big physical front lines in the ACC. You know, I look at this game as a, as a really good um, test for us as we are about to enter ACC play. Um, we're going to see um, maybe not teams exactly like South Carolina, but teams with some physical front court players that we're going to have to guard, that we're going to have to keep off the glass. So um, I think our staff and our, and, and, and our players understood that this would be a, a really good game for us going into conference play to see where we stood and then how we could keep getting better because um, we've got really good teams, elite teams in, in our league as well. Uh, coach, uh, with going back to the zone, um, it seemed like the backside you guys were kind of slow and rotating. How do you guys fix that to be able to um, picking out a man to kind of box out, like heading into ACC play? Yeah, I mean, what we'll do is we'll watch the film, and we we do this after every game, obviously. And we we don't watch the whole game, but um, we'll break down uh, the breakdowns. <laughs> And, and show them, and it's it's you know seeing something visually is, is is so much more powerful than like just telling someone, hey, you were late doing that. But then when they see it, they can they can then hopefully correct it. So 
Uh, we'll, we'll spend time doing that. Uh, we do we do team film and then a lot of individual film um, with players, and and so I'm sure there's going to be some clips showing that. Um, just again, the goal is to get better. I tell my team this before we watch film almost every time before we watch film. The point of film is is to improve, not to be afraid of it or to make someone feel bad because they did something wrong. It, it's to correct something so we can get better as a team. So that's what we'll do. We'll watch the film and see where we can get better.